It's a triple threat, COVID-19, RSV, and influenza, lined up and raising some big concerns among health officials. There are questions over whether the province should reintroduce required indoor masking in public spaces. We want to protect our youngest and our oldest and our immunocompromised, so why not? I would not wear one willingly. I'm immunocompromised, so it's very important for me to mask up. But, uh, but actually, the truth is that masks protect others, so that's what's most important to me. But BC is not making any changes to require masks indoors just yet. The guidance has consistently been to advise uh, the wearing of masks uh, in indoor spaces. And so we're going to continue to do that. It's not any different in that sense than it is in Ontario. Ontario's chief medical health officer is strongly recommending Ontarians wear masks in all indoor public settings, including in schools and in childcare settings, but stop short of recommending a return to a mask mandate in the province. Dick says BC is faring much better in dealing with the surge in respiratory illnesses among children, including the flu. He says there have been about a million flu shots distributed. Whereas Ontario, I think they've hit or gone beyond the 5% level in terms of physicians' visits related to uh, influenza. Here in BC, we're still at at 2 to 3 percent. As of today, he says the current occupancy rate for children's high acuity and pediatric ICU beds in the province is about 76 percent. This medical expert is more worried about people falling behind on COVID and flu vaccinations than a mask mandate. Well, my concern about emphasizing masks over everything else, I will forget that our first line of defense is vaccines. BC Green Party leader Sonia Furstenau wants to see more information from the province about how the health care system is faring. Other provinces are, for example, releasing data about how many kids are absent in schools right now. Uh, I think that would be really helpful to know. Still, it's early days in the fall winter season. More cases involving the triple threat of respiratory illnesses are expected in BC in the coming weeks. And only time will tell if BC is simply lagging behind Ontario in case numbers. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.